the chimps of Simeon assemble in their hereditary tree to invite the introduction of two children to the Lord of Primates. Ruler Simeon rules north of many gorillas in old tree some place in the savanna desert. Vladimir, the ruler's dependable consultant, tells the Lord there is an issue. Obviously, the sovereign had brought forth two children rather than one. The primary monkey ruler is so small and powerless, however the subsequent monkey areas of strength for a solid looking. Since the little monkey came out first, he is the immediate beneficiary of the high position. The monkey shows up and instructs the Lord to get freed concerning the little cost as he is a terrible sign. She says he is an error essentially, and the primates won't ever acknowledge him as their ruler. The Lord yields and hands the child to Vladimir to get rid of the monkey while the Sovereign rests. The Sovereign searches for her infants when she awakens and makes the ruler guarantee that he will deal with them, and she bites the dust. From that point onward, Lord Simeon presents the crown Sovereign, Vania, the solid and sound monkey, to the gorillas of the realm. Vladimir takes the frail monkey to a bluff to toss it into the mouth of the wolf. The kid sticks to Vladimir's hands, making him have a shift in perspective. Briefly, be that as it may, Vladimir's loyalty lies with the ruler, so he discards the monkey and strolls. In the interim, the feeble monkey didn't fall straightforwardly into the mouth of the wolf however was holding tight a plant. The wolf at last snaps the child off the plant and chomps one of its hands. Before the wolf can cause complete harm to the child, a proboscis monkey saves it. The child can't walk like a chimp on the grounds that its right arm has been demolished by the wolf's hate. So his rescuer, who is called Ian, permits him to ride on his back. The powerless monkey is currently a grown-up chimp named Edward. He actually rides on Ian's back since one arm does not work anymore, and the arm stays in his undergarment all through the film. They are old buddies who get along by squabbling and paying special attention to one another, and they avoid different primates. Ian has a discourse issue, so he can't impart as expected. In their little shed, Edward is searching for certain figs that he kept in an opening shrouded in leaves. He asks Ian for it, yet the chimp claims obliviousness, and a contention begins. Edward tracks down a mouse and understands that the mouse ate his food, he begins to seek after it around yet can't get it. With one arm, he finds the tree SAP and plans to involve it as a snare for the mouse, yet horn sounds occupy him. The horn reports the start of the Coco Ball, a game that Ian and Edward love. Ian is hesitant to go since the two are frequently oppressed by different primates. Edward persuades him to go, and they get comfortable a branch to watch the games. The gorillas swinging from plants throw the ball around, holding back nothing shot into the mouth of a skull, and the ball is a coconut organic product. Vanya is quick to score and is commended by the group. Another match starts yet gets hindered when Ian attempts to get the ball however winds up nose diving with it and losing the plates from their plants all the while. The ball bobs off and falls into an opening. The privateers get pissed and encompass Ian to thrash him, however Edward considers something quick. He utilizes tree SAP to get the ball out. The odd primates assemble around Edward, asking how he did the enchantment, yet Vanya appears and takes the ball from him. Vanya attempts to toss the ball, however his hand is stuck on it by the tree SAP. Different primates attempt to get him off it, yet they additionally stall out. The tumult closes when the ball flies none of their concern and grounds on Lord Simeon's head. Vladimir attempts to get it off yet pulls a tuft of hair all the while. The ruler needs to realize the guilty party however gets thrown around by Vladimir and his cousin Sergei. The witch saw Edward and inquired as to whether he discarded the kid as asked, and Vladimir affirms that he discarded the youngster. She compromises him and sends him off to track down an answer. In any case, Vanya hears their conversation and goes up against his dad about the chance of another primate taking the high position from him. Lord Simeon vows to take care of business. Edward and Ian are in their home, quarreling over the White Mountains. Ian generally dreams about it. Sergei and Marcel appear on the ruler's request. They let Edward know that he has been called by the king, I in the ruler's presence, Edward is blamed for rehearsing enchantment. Edward makes sense of by and by that it isn't wizardry, however a couple of stunts he has found, and he continues to show a portion of those stunts to the lord. 
he creates a crown from leaves and creates a mirror by emptying water into a leaf. The ruler can see his appearance interestingly and is awed by his facial elements. Edward makes a swing for the Lord and continues to converse with him. They are out of nowhere gone after by a multitude of bugs brought by the witch, Lord Simeon has lost the swing, and Edward is blamed for endeavored murder by the witch. Vanya orders him to be lost the bluff, and Ian can just watch. Ruler Simeon ascends and requests to realize who lost Edward the precipice. Vanya says he attempted to kill him, yet Lord Simeon blames Vanya for killing another Simeon. Edward awakens to find he was lost the tree. Ian is swinging from a plant, yet it is excessively high for Edward to reach. To. He leaves Ian and meanders into the desert, sees two monster ostriches and attempts to get a lot of grapes hanging from one ostrich's mouth. Simultaneously, he figures out how to remain on two foot like them. Dot. A bunch of wolves shows up, and the threesome needs to run. Edward first runs in reverse yet sees the way the ostriches run. He begins running forward and is glad that he can now move quick and that his one arm will presently not be a block to him. The other monkeys see him running and root for him. The triplet runs into a field loaded up with rhinos and makes it past them until the rhinos notice the wolves coming and begin running. Presently Edward is running from the rhinos and the wolves. Edward arrives at the finish of the way and the rhinos begin to move like armadillos. Seeing that Edward is going to be squashed by those rhinos, Lord Simeon bounces in and attempts to save him. He fends off some of them yet bounces before Edward when he sees that he is going to be squashed. The turmoil subsides, and ruler Simeon is seriously harmed from the battle. Vanya comes near them with exhortation to help Simeon back up. Lord Simeon lets Edward know that he is his dad before he bites the dust. Vanya removes Simeon's body and tells Edward not to try and see themselves as siblings. Vanya is delegated ruler, and he excuses Vladimir for bombing in his obligation to dispose of Edward. Sergei assumes control over Vladimir's work, and the ideal opportunity for Vanya to pick a lady shows up. Rather than taking a spouse, he makes a statement that every one of the gorillas will be available to him, and he has outright control over every one of them. A tempest begins and Vladimir is dismissed by every one of the chimps. The tempest becomes savage, and a twister shows up. Edward finds Lucy in the twister and falls head over heels for her. He pursues her, and they become companions. Edward helps her to remain on two feet, and they find fire from a well of lava. Invigorated, Edward returns a piece of the fire to the chimps and discusses it. They don't invite him and stone him on the sets of Anya. Disheartened, Edward leaves with Lucy, he pursues a wolf away from its hideaway with the fire and subsides into the cavern with Lucy. Different chimps watch Lucy and Edward figure out how to get organic product and kill hares and other little creatures. Edward has additionally figured out how to control the wolf, the primates leave Vanya and the hereditary tree when they can never again bear the craving. The witch gathers the tree soul to alarm the chimps, however the youthful primate, Diego, chooses to follow the sound, and they find that there is no soul of the tree. It has all been the witch. She attempts to dispose of him, yet he is saved and uncovers reality. The gorillas pass on the tree and make a beeline for Edward and Lucy's cavern, Gazella. A female chimp who has consistently cherished Vanya chooses to remain back. Lucy doesn't invite the gorillas after how they treated her and Edward. The chimps converse with Edward and cause him to mediate for their sake. They vow to just eat and go, so Lucy gives them access, and they eat, and they don't go. They host a gathering in the cavern that evening. Vanya and Gazella watch with miserable countenances. They keep on looking for quite a long time as the primates fabricate themselves another town. Lucy and Edward are hitched and anticipating a child. They choose to name the kid after Edward's companion Ian. In the meantime, the witch has been plotting vengeance on the chimps for leaving the genealogical tree. Lucy rests at home while Edward assists the remainder of the town with the development work, and every one of the primates currently work on two feet. Like Edward, they can now chase after their own food, and Diego can draw practical pictures. A contention emerges among Sergei and the new primates who are searching for cover. Sergei says there's no haven and expels them. 
Edward attempts to mollify them, however while he does that, a grasshopper attacks the town and obliterates all that they've been dealing with. Sergei and the chimps are persuaded that the primates are liable for the wreck, so they pursue her. Lucy advises Edward to save Vanya before the horde gets to the tree. Edward calls for Vanya, yet he doesn't answer. The horde shows up at the tree and Vanya emerges from stowing away. The chimps vow to let him go assuming he gives them the tree, yet he vows to let them go alive in the event that they leave all alone. Gazella attempts to safeguard the Lord, however Sergei orders the primates to beat Vanya. Vanya retaliates, however he is overwhelmed. Edward is likewise halted from meddling. Sergei orders the gorillas to cut open the tree and set it ablaze, and Edward saves Gazella before the tree explodes. Be that as it may, he is caught under a consuming branch. He shouts to Vanya, who yields and helps Edward. The two take off before the trees explode. Then, at that point, the witch stays in the tree and kicks the bucket with it. At the point when they come around, the entire region is loaded up with smoke. The tree is totally scorched and nothing remains for the gorillas. Vanya and Edward cut off their disparities and uncover their friendship with the gorillas. Sergei attempts to cause alarm among the gorillas, yet Edward, with Vanya's assistance, calls the primates to arrange. Two companions dance around and grins. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, see you in the next video.